Hello, I'm Vincent. This is your Vanilla two drawers sliding underneath the bed. Uh, this is just one of the two drawers in the box. So it comes with uh, the bottom with the three rails uh, that supports the bottom and the wheels are going to be attached to that. Your front, your back, your sides. And if you come closer, there's, uh, all, these are the things that put one drawer together. So you have the eight bolts with the nuts. I always put it through just to make sure that they don't get cross threaded and it doesn't go all the way through. So that way I know they ought to go all the way through. And if you take a look, a little closer look at this uh, nut, you can see that there's two sides to it. One side is the dead end, one side is the open end. So in order to identify which side, if you look at the cross in the front here, you see this, the cross, it doesn't go all the way from end to end. Well, that is the side that's not open. And you see the cross part that goes all the way through, it cuts all the way through, that's the part that screws right in. Okay, so what I do is I put all eight through for one draw, make sure they all go through. And you have the four tires, the 12 uh, wood dowels, uh, the six screws to put the support in, and the eight to put the wheels in, and it comes with the Allen key. That's your instructions right there. But after this video, you might not need to use it too much. Uh, those are my own two tools, just a hammer and a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, and uh, I will start by putting the front with the side. impulse okay so first you take the the front of the drawer and one of the sides of it uh, just make sure that the slot for the bottom is obviously on the bottom and same thing for the sides because the side sometimes it, of course it is a little bit confusing that you can turn it up then and that won't work so make sure you slot the bottom you sort of put them together like that and it will hold by itself uh, if you have someone helping you they can hold it together it will make life even easier so take, I'll take one of the bolts and make sure that they are, they are smooth together. And let's go to here. There we go. And this goes in around three quarter ways. And I'll sort of... Uh... Can we look in that side? I mean? Oh, just look there. Like there, yeah. yeah. And it will just sort of engage. There we go, and it goes up, and you can use the Allen key. If you want to take a look at the top here, just the Allen key, and then that's it, it's snug. And then once it's snug, you can put the other one in, and you can put the other side in. I'll pause right now, I'll do those ends. So just snug, so that it holds its spot, because you need a little bit of play here to slide things in. So now you can sort of flip it on this front end, okay? And next, we're going to get these ready to go on. Uh, these three are the bottom support for the bottom of the drawer. Also, those are where the wheels goes on. As you can see, there is three sides that is flat, and there's three sides that's got the drill drill holes for the screws to go in. So those are gonna be the bottom. So those are the ones that are gonna face this way, okay? So before we do that though, we're gonna put the dowel in each of them. Uh, most of them slides in okay. Uh, so you want it to be like, like that, okay? So there's only stick out, because if it's too much, it's gonna block the back of the drawer from going all the way down, okay? So you pretty well don't want it to be sticking out like that because then when you put it in, in order to fit this last piece on, which is the hardest piece because it's to go on where the, drawer, uh, where the bottom is, where the side is, and on top of this where that is, okay? So we want this dowels to be in like that, okay? And we're gonna do that for all three of them the sides. Yeah, okay. All right, so there's another angle just to again show that how we put that screw in on that end there. So again, this will stand up against each other on its own. I already have one in there, but I'm going to show you though, though it doesn't. So this can go in this way. Not all the way through because then it will block this thing from going in. So it sticks out like this. Again, make sure the cross beam is the open end that you're going in and you're going to stick it in free quarter way. So if you come over the draw now, right over the jaw on the, from the top. Shoot it from the top, from this side. If you can shoot it from this side, you can see this screw going in just from the top. There you go. So this is gonna go in three quarter way. And then you just have to sort of uh, maybe use this to 
guide it a little bit so that it's facing the open end and it's pretty well engaged by itself see once it's in there you stick your allen key and it will hold itself you don't have to tighten it really tight yet just snug and then there you go that's one side on all right here we go okay so all the dials in now so this is with all four in okie dokie okay so now next is we're going to put the bottom on okay uh, the bottoms usually there is one really really nice side and sometimes there's one that is of course a little damage chipping can't help it these things happen so what you want to do is obviously use a nice side so that you're looking at it which is inside of the drawer the not so nice side at the bottom of the drawer because in a sense who cares right so in this case i'll use this scratched up one on the bottom okay so this drawer bottom now will have to slide into the slot sort of into the bottom and that will hold in place with that now, these three will now have to be inserted in like so okay and comes the most difficult part which is now we have to install this into here and then put the screws in. So, okay, so once it's between this, you'll feel that it is kind of losing its weight. So what you want to do is take out two of these screws. Yeah, I'll take this off one more time and I'll show you one. So you get tier two of these off. Okay, you just take out the nuts. Okay. Actually, you know what? You can actually even do all four to be honest with you. It's easier even. Let's do all four. Um, and what we're gonna do is just gonna use it to hold sort of it in the way. So that way the, this part doesn't flop down on you and it'll still give you a little bit of sort of like a flabby weight because that's the only way we're going to be able to get all these in there. There we go, that's one in. Oh. Very, very tricky part. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you have a lovely assistance, this will be the part that will be very, very helpful. We we'll manage to hold. Yeah, see, that's my lovely assistance hand. And as you can see, once those three goes in, and these two are holding in place, we now sort of have the draw. Now, I want to show you one thing, if you can come up here a little bit. And you see this right here. You would think that this would be right up like that, flat, flush with it, but it doesn't have to. Because the, the woods are not always going to be perfectly cut and perfectly fit so that it's flush. So sometimes this back will come up a little bit, this will come out a little bit or down a little bit. It's okay, it's the back of the drawer. As long as the screws come together to hold it together, it will, it will work, okay? So now what you're going to do is, now that these are on, leave these two on so it still holds this part so it doesn't come apart. And now you're going to put these two middle ones in with the nut. Again, just to make sure, match it up with the right nut so it's not cross-treaded. And then we're going to put it in this way, just like the front. Okay, so I'm going to pause right now and then we'll... Yeah. So here you go. Actually, my wife said I should show you because it might get complicated. So again, same thing, a nut and bow. Now you're going to have to look into there because like I said, this one is not on anything but it's just to hold the side up. So we're going to do sort of the bottom one. Okay, so this is going to go in this way and this one is going to go into the, the bottom. So the tricky part is obviously this is going to want to pour out. So you're going to have to use your finger to sort of guide it in. And 
you would catch. There we go. Okay, we use the Allen key to snug it up so it doesn't come back apart. Okay, so that is one way of doing it. And obviously it's not the easiest way. The other way is actually you can just keep it together with your hand, like push it together and you can drop it on the floor. So now it's back to like you're doing the front. This might be an easier way. Because again, don't forget these sides are not screwed it, they're just in to hold the flat from moving and coming apart. So now if you're sitting flat, it's almost like doing the front again. So again, same thing, right? Make sure to cross in. This goes into the bottom, this goes into here. And there you go. And if this doesn't move around, you'd always use the Phillips screwdriver to make sure it's facing the right way, but most of the time you can pretty well guide it with your finger pushing in it the right way. And again, snuck. Now that that one is in, now we can pull these ones out a little bit. And we can put, let's make sure this is the right one. So it's not cross threaded all the way through. Yes, it is. Beautiful. There you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten all the eight bolts on the corner and I'm going to turn to the bottom and we're going to finish the two rails. So I'm going to pause through there and then I'll tighten them. Okay, right, so now tighten all the eight screws. So pretty well the drawer is already solid. The bottom is in the, on the, in the slot. So it's good. So now we're just going to finish the bottom. The ones that we put in here. I'm just going to turn it around. Okay, now a couple things you'll notice that there's some gaps here that, that the thing will move around. It really doesn't matter whatsoever because the other side of the drawer is what's being used. That's the side that as long as it is very well structured, you can see, perfect. The angle, this doesn't move around, uh, not doesn't move around, but it's in the slot, so it's not going to fall through because it's best of And this is nice and strong and that's the most important because that's the part you're going to use. The bottom part is just to make sure that it runs on the wheel. So that it's going to be slack because if it's too snug, it's going to be very hard to put together. So that's going to always have a little slack. And voila. So now what we're going to do is, if you want, you can now put all these screws in here, all six of them, two for each, to put, sort of pull them together so that it's stable. And then you're going to screw these wheels on with the tiny screws. Okay, and they have holes already sort of pre-did for you so you know where it's supposed to go. Uh, it's only four, it's not, all, it's not six wheels, it's just four wheels on each side. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you the finished product on the bottom. Okay, so I'll pause while I do that. Okay. You good? Yeah. I see, this is my assistant. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, oh, I put all the screws in now already. Okay. Uh, and like I said, there's still going to be a gap here, and that's not important as long as it's in, it's, it's firm. Uh, just being 100% honest with you, most of the drawers I have in my showroom, I don't even put the screws in here because this wooden slab with the two dowels on each end actually holds it in place really, really strong. And there's no reason that this will ever separate 
to let it fall out. But again, it's provided if you want, just put the screws in and then that way they are all secure and it will never come out on you. And then these are the four uh, uh, wheels as you can see. And I already put one in. And my, my lovely assistant dog is there trying to help me. And then again, remember those are holes already marked there so it's easy so I just sort of leave it sitting where it's supposed to go. I'll put one of the screws on. And you can use a power tool if you want, but they are very easy wood screws. So they just sort of go right on. This is it. So all four wheels are on. The, the, all six screws are on there. Tightly secured. And your jaw is finished. So now, just put it down and row in, row out. Bye.